Ephesians 2, 8-9 For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Every day, as we go about our lives, we all run across challenging circumstances. Most of the time, when we endure pain or suffering, we are shocked that these circumstances arise and forget that God has warned us that we would face difficulties. When He gives us the gift of faith and instructs us to apply this priceless fruit of the Spirit, we frequently fail to do so. We are quick to worry about them instead of having trust during challenging or perplexing circumstances. We were given the gift of faith by God's grace, not because we deserved it, but as a result of the eternal goodness of His deeds. It's vital to note that this gift was not given to us in return for our deeds of goodness. Our gratitude for this gift should overflow with humility as we recognize that it is something we could never have accomplished on our own. In a message Medjugorje sent to us, she says, Dear children, today I call you through prayer and sacrifice to prepare yourselves for the coming of the Holy Spirit. Little children, this is a time of grace, and so, again, I call you to decide for God the Creator. Allow Him to transform and change you. May your heart be prepared to listen to and live everything that the Holy Spirit has in His plan for each of you. Little children, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you on the way of truth and salvation toward eternal life. Thank you for having responded to my call. Do you feel like God is somehow punishing you in the trial you are experiencing? When we follow Jesus, God does not take a stance of condemnation towards us. Instead, He uses our trials for our good to encourage us to walk in His ways and His will. When we experience difficulties, whether they be monetary difficulties, tough relationships, compromised health, or self-worth issues, it can be difficult for us to remember that God is still at work inside us. This is so because, as humans, we base our beliefs on what we perceive rather than on faith, which is what God commands us to put our attention on. It might be challenging to trust God under uncertain circumstances, but as Christians, we know that He will eventually use everything for good, since His ways are not our ways. In trying circumstances, having faith can help you experience calmness in God's presence. When you are unfaithful, it might lead your pride to harden your heart and cause you to grow far from Him. Learning to surrender all of your challenges and issues to God may relieve a great deal of your pressure. God has given us the ability to have faith so that we can identify His deeds and not worry constantly, even though there are many unknowns around us. Hebrews 4.16 Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. At times of need, we also fail to acknowledge God's grace toward us. By sending His Son to the cross, He has extended this undeserved kindness to each one of us. While we call out to God in our troubles, we need to have faith and trust that whatever He decides to do is for our good. Instead of jumping to conclusions and worrying if our inquiries are not answered as we had wanted, we may rest in God by continuing to believe in His limitless love. In the end, how things turn out in our lives is not up to us. Nonetheless, it is our responsibility to have confidence in God, no matter the cost. Change will always be a part of life, which is the one definite thing. We shall experience both happy and challenging times. Turning to our Lord is simple when things are going well, but it may be challenging when things are turbulent. Being used to turning to the Lord and placing our faith in Him during both good and terrible circumstances may help to lessen our suffering during those more trying times. Are you currently going through a difficult time? 
Do you believe that no one is there to support you in your present state of vulnerability? Do you believe that nobody, not even the closest to you, has your best interests in mind? God intends for us to rely entirely on Him as He is the one who created us. He gave us His holy word as a gift. You can use the incomparable wisdom of God revealed in His Word as an anchor amid the choppy seas of any current tempest at sea. Regardless of how challenging your life may appear now, God is utilizing everything that occurs for your ultimate good. It's possible that you can't notice this right away. You may be able to perceive it in retrospect someday, or it's also possible that we won't always understand why God allowed a particular struggle to occur. What we do know is that God wants you to put your faith in His master plan. He is orchestrating everything for your ultimate benefit, a good that you might not even be able to comprehend or comprehend with our limited comprehension in our fleshy life. It might be challenging to trust God on your own, particularly during times of adversity, you can be feeling depressed because of a lot of anxieties, uncertainties, and conflicting feelings. Nonetheless, a sympathetic Christian counselor might provide you with assistance. The counselors at Seattle Christian Counseling can help you through whatever challenges you may be facing right now so that you can finish the race well, as the Bible instructs us to do in and for Jesus. Your counselor can accompany you on your road to learning to trust God in whatever challenge you are facing. While you pray, keep in mind that God is overflowing in love toward you. He consistently extends an olive branch of pardon for your transgressions and has only good intentions for you. When you want to know that God is watching out for you, think of this promise.